Booby, the day has started when you got mom in town. You get a nice cooked, home cooked breakfast <laughs> that we don't normally do on our own. Our, our channel pretty much complains all the time about how we only eat out. <laughs> we don't cook <laughs> in the home. So we got uh, gravy, biscuits. We're about to do the eggs. This is gonna be delicious. We also have a content squirrel who somehow got a hold of a rib bone and chewed on it for quite some time. What? She's happy. She had a rib bone down on the ground over there. How'd she get a rib? I think it was on the counter. She got it, she loved it. Did you chew on it? You ready for this breakfast? Are you, did you, is this Fubi? Yeah. All right, I didn't have to start the vlog today. No, I started it Yay. with a nice home cooked breakfast. Oh, heck yeah. So yesterday was July 4th. Guess what today is? No, not just July 5th. It is America's hangover day. Good thing we've got biscuits and gravy, Gatorade, and whatever else to help us get over this hangover. Also more beer, but my intestines can't take that right now. Look at these two out here, hang on. Like mother, like daughter. So I just talked about how I wasn't gonna get any beer, and now I'm getting beer. What can you do? I'm on a beer run right now, guys. You guys probably can't hear me because this is so loud. 98 degrees is incredibly, incredibly hot right now. It's unbelievable. You guys would hate it. Pretty sick. I like it. Water boy. What are you doing in this pool? Just chilling. You're not allowed to be in the pool. I know I shouldn't be. Get out of the pool. There's mom. She's she's sunbathing. <laughs> We've got the beautiful I've cleaned today pool, looking great. Did you put the acid or anything in? No, because it didn't need acid. It just needed a little bit more chlorine boost. I might need to get some more shock though. Kitty cat. What are you what are you yelling at me for? What is kitty cat yelling at me for? Hey, oops. We're gonna go eat some food. These two girls, these two ladies have been just DNA in it up all day. We've been going through all this kind of DNA. We have pictures because we're trying to figure out a bunch of stuff because like there's so much German. Oh my god, let's introduce it to Fubi. So we got my DNA test back. Little bit Native American. A lot German, like crazy, like almost 89% German, which I imagined I was kind of German. I always thought I was half. No, super German. And then on top of that, 15% um, Italian, and then curveball, I'm Jewish. It said something like, what did it call it again? Let me see right here. I don't know how to pronounce this. Let's see if I can look it up. There's a word for it. I'm 2% of this, whatever it is. Let's turn this up if we can. Your speakers off. Ashkenazi. Ashkenazi Jewish. And so apparently, Ashkenazi. I mean, if you know my ancestors at all, my dad, or not my dad, my Oma, who's my dad's mother, lived in Germany during the Holocaust. And their whole time they never thought that they were remotely Jewish because they had, you know, people come raid their houses looking for Jewish people and they never found them, but it was always terrifying for my Oma. She'll tell you like all of this different stuff about it, or she would whenever, before she passed away. But, my Oma never knew her real father, and that's because he died whenever she was really young, and she got adopted, she had her mom, her actual mom, but then she got adopted by her stepdad whenever she was very young, and so her stepdad obviously didn't have the same lineage as her, so her father could have easily been the Jewish guy that we didn't know about, that's why she didn't get persecuted during the Holocaust, because she lived through all that, it's just crazy. Like, it's like, it's a mind warp to think, but I had no idea, so apparently I got some Jewish in me. I think I'm gonna do a whole video about it on my main channel, which you'll see, like, me do this. It's pretty cool, though. It is cool, it's weird to see, like, all the different things, but because I'm so German, my mom, besides the Native American, she doesn't really know what she is, and she doesn't know, like, what my grandma Sue is and all this stuff, so we're trying to, like, find out what, like, where this could come from, because they have to be, because I'm so much German, or, like, at least the, I think it was, like, Northern and Western uh, European area, so there could be French in there and Dutch, but I know that my dad is from Germany and I know that my Oma came and her mom and her Oma was from there. But 
because we're so much in that area, she has to be that too. So now she wants to take the test. It's crazy. Taking these tests is actually wild. And now we want Doobie. You should take it. Excited about some male Phoenix? I am so excited about some male Phoenix. Oh, it's gonna yeah. be delicious. Oh, yeah. We find out, I think he's going to be a French. There we go. Chicken enchiladas, bomb. We got the chicken enchiladas, the uh, jalapenos, rice, beans. Same on mom's plate. Looks amazing. Delicious. Oh so my delicious. god. I love it. So good. The tits, they have to be freshly made. They're so crispy. They're, so, they're literally El Phoenix. Well done. Well done. Hey, 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 Fubi review. Fubi review, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Yeah. Can't beat that. Someone decided to kill their plate before everybody else is done. My God, look. You handed me this plate. You hand, this isn't Look mine. at that. I, don't, I haven't even eaten like half of mine. I was hungry, okay? All I've had was breakfast.